Good morning friends. Today we are with the second video of our VBOT's video series. So today we are going to learn some shapes and more about the nodes in VBOT. So if you remember this is the result of our last video which is VBOT tutorial 1 and we had a robot and we made a small controller which takes the robot in just straight direction till it obstructs an object or till infinity. So this is what we made last time. Now what we'll do is we'll do file, we'll save world as we had last world as basics. Today we can have uh, nodes. So I save it as nodes. Now we had when we started the new project, we had this environment rectangular arena directly integrated in our project. So let's do one thing. Let's delete this arena and build our own. So if I click on delete, I don't have any arena. Now what I do is I go in new node, go in proto nodes, then I go in objects, then we go in floors and rectangular arena. This was what we got in default. If we just want floor, we can also have circular arena. So let's take a floor this time. We can again change the parameters of floor where we have its size 2 by 2. Yeah. And tile style as 0 0.5 is fine. But you can change it here. Today, the main motto of this video is learning to make custom shapes through nodes. So today, first we'll make a ball. So we'll start with this time we'll take a base node because we are making a new node. We'll take solid. Now after solid, so now we have, according to VBOTS, what happened is we have a coordinate system at center. And now if I add child as some shape, so I can add any shape into the child. So now if you see child, we have this shape child and now I can add any shape. So we want to make a ball. So we'll have sphere. So you see we have sphere added here and to give and leverage the illusion in VBOTS, we take appearance, we go in base node and we use PBA appearance. So this feels like a metallic ball. So now what we can do is we can remove the metallic property of the ball by doing metalness to zero. So now it's a ball. We can make it green in color. This is RGB value. So it's now green in color. Now if you see our ball is shining when light is falling on it. So we can remove its shine by doing roughness as one. So now it doesn't shine. So in VBOT, there is a very good concept of reusing the nodes we make. So for example, if I save this shape as ball, I can reuse it whenever I want. For example, now I have this ball, but still the physics and its uh, element structure is not defined. So what we do is we go in bounding objects and now we defined the properties of ball, we can directly use it. So now we have a bounding object to this ball and we do physics as 
physics and we can change the properties of ball where we made it so we go in ball shape in geometric shape we have radius and subdivisions so if i change radius to 0 0.012 the ball gets big and if i do subdivisions if i increase subdivisions it will be finer so now you see the shape it improved it became more circular but the number of subdivisions you increase the processing and computing power so you need a higher uh, memory in CPU to compute VBOT simulation. So whenever possible, keep the subdivisions low if not required. So now, if I want to make, make one more sphere, what do I do? This is what we learned last time. So this is a question for you guys. And if you want to make one more sphere, what do you do? Yeah, as most of you must have guessed it correct, we use control C and control V. So now we have two spheres. Yes. Now, as we know, we don't have boundaries to our arena. So with the same concept, let's build boundaries. So we go to let's save this first because if we don't save it and run the simulation everything goes away so we go to we'll do it faster this time base node will go to solid because we need to make one we go in child we take shape and this time we'll take shape as box because we need to make wall Again, our appearance will be PBR. And now, we have this, so we need to set the dimensions. So again, in geometric box, we have its size. Let's keep it up so we know how it looks. So in size, I think X will be two because it's two units that y be 0.1 and z be 0 0.05 yeah this looks good now what we do is we save the shape as wall yes and now we approximately keep it on the boundary and now we can actually translate it to correct positions 0 0.05 and this will be 1 so if you see we have one wall here similarly we can have other walls but now if we do it with copy paste as we did with the balls and we make changes in a single wall, it will not be reflected to other four walls. So what we do is we make new solid, solid, yeah, and we add its child as directly wall. So we have one more wall. So now we keep it here. So we have its translation as 0 0.05 and minus one because this was plus one yeah and if you have issues with scrolling you can go in view change view and take a top view so you can get an exact top view from here now again you do the same thing add base node solid node and you add your child as wall. Again, we need to rotate this. So let's rotate this 90 degrees. Yeah. And we translate this. 
let's make it perfect so it should be one this should be zero and this should be 0 0.05 yeah. and last but not the least was now we go to solid again as usual go in child use wall add yeah again we rotate the wall you can also rotate it through we translate it and plug in correct values 0 0.05 and z is 0 so now we have correct bounding boxes but now it seems that so now the question is, if I make changes in the first solid where I define stuff and I need, see it's reflecting. So let's do one thing is, let's go in appearance and let's do metalness to zero. So we see the changes in all four. It was just done in first. Now let's do one thing let's give a real feel of wall so let's go to base color map let's add an image texture and in the image texture url you select a wall so we have red brick wall so now you see we have real bricks on our wall we can change the look and feel of the brick but this was all in today's video to make different shapes using the nodes and today we learned how to make custom shapes and what is solid what are shapes how can we relate the physics and bounding boxes so this was all for today's video Hope you like the video, do share the video, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share with your friends. Thank you and have a nice day.